Hello guys and welcome to another vlog and today we are standing with the all new member of the Skoda family which is the Skoda Kushak and this car is here to compete in a very crucial segment which is the compact SUV and we will check out is this car capable of competing with the segment kings which are the Creta and the Seltos so let's get to the review right away so guys let's begin with the review of the car and this is the key so let's unlock the car and the key has this unlock button lock button as well as a button to open the boot of the car and from the front design you will notice that this car looks very much sporty and youthful like all the sharp cuts and creases the lights are very sharp the alloy wheel design is quite funky and this is the main color of the car and it also looks quite nice a uh, orange shade and over here are the lights of the car it gets led lights and skoda called it skoda crystal lighting system and over here down are the drl but the indicator is halogen as well as the fog lamp which also turns out to be the turning lamp of the car is in halogen and it gets some fake vents over here with chrome and black treatment done on them and this is the regular skoda grill with a chrome surround on it and a skoda logo on top of that and from the lower half also the bumper gets a silver treatment on it with black and over here it says kashok and the lower vents are functional as well as the upper and it gets a gloss back treatment over here and same is the case over here some fake vents these are the lights of the car and overall the car looks quite nice indeed overall the design elements on the top over here like the wheel uh, and the wheel arch the body cladding gives it a very nice and sporty feel and like you see these are the wheels of the car these are two 0555 r17 inch wheels and these are alloys and looks very nice and it all always get disc brakes at the front and over here it says skoda with on gloss black with some chrome surround on it and these are the outside rear view mirrors and the window also gets a chrome lining below it to give it a more good looks and the rear tires are also same size but in the rear it gets drum brakes only and this is the fuel lid of the car and the doors also gets a request sensor on them with a chrome line on it which also looks very nice so it's available in three variants which is the active which is the base variant then it comes the ambition then there is the style variant which is the top of the line feature loaded one and it's available in two powertrain options which is a 1.5 TSI and a 1 liter TSI and both of them come in 6 speed manual and automatic but in the 1 liter TSI it gets a 6 speed torque converter automatic and in the 1.5 liter TSI it gets a 7 speed DSG gearbox and this car right now we are having is the 1 liter manual one yeah this is a 1 liter TSI manual 6 speed manual and the power output from the 1 liter engine is 115 PS and 175 Nm of torque and power from the 1.5 TSI is 150 ps and 250 newton meters of torque so overall the power and all this nice and being a skoda it's quite nice the engine is very much refined and punchy and these are the rear lights of the car and looks very nice and it gets some special treatment done on it same as on the superb and the kodiak but the reverse lamp and the indicator are halogen like the brake light is an led and over here it boldly says skoda which is the new Skoda logo for the rear and over here is Kushak with a chrome line on the boot lid of the car and some reflectors over here it doesn't get any reverse fog lamp as such and down the bumper it doesn't get any fake exhaust stuff and the real exhaust is placed down over here as you can see it has a real exhaust and again it gets a silver treatment done on the bumper and at the back it only gets three parking sensors yeah a bit of cost cutting at that front and over here is the reverse parking camera and we will talk about the camera when we see it inside as a rear wiper it gets a spoiler over here a gloss black shark fit antenna so let's open the boot of the car so we so using this only we can open so here goes and it's not a big boot like it's almost the smallest boot in the segment there yeah. the boot of this car is a bit of a issue and the loading lip is also quite high so it would be a issue to load in stuff and uh smaller size no it's uh yeah it's a smaller size use unit and it's a steel wheel also and over here is first aid and different tool kits a light over there and nothing else in the boot as such and it also comes with a parcel shelf 
Uh, so let's close the boot. So it gets a handle over here to close the boot. Just quite nice. So the boot is closed. So let's get to the rear seat of the car. And again, the door gets this chrome, which looks very nice. And these are the doors of the car. And as you can see, nothing very special over here. Like the fit and finish is quite nice and gets leather over here. Some light colored materials and a nice treatment done on them. There's a plastic on them. So let me remove them. It's very nice and treatment. And the inside sides are the part of the optional accessories, which is offered by Skoda only. And they also works quite well and like this you can remove them. They are magnetic ones. And being a locally assembled car, it misses out on some Skoda trademark features like you can't open all the doors and windows using the key of the car because only the driver side window gets one touch up and down and not other windows. So that's a bit of an omission. And this is the car only for India. Yeah, Skoda has designed this car only for India and it's not going to sell in the international market and over here these are the seats of the car again they get a uh, orange stitching on them and these are perforated leather seats and looks quite nice and also gets a center armrest with twin cup holders and it also comes with triple headrest but the headroom is on bit of a tight task over here and it gets twin led lights on the center cabin and over here is the footboard of the car and the leg room is quite decent and the floor is also almost flat so let's get inside the car right away so the face at the back is quite nice and under thigh support is excellent in this car yard literally the under thigh support is quite good and the seat a bit on a lower side and the window level is quite high and small so it can get a bit claustrophobic over here but the sunroof can help you a bit in it and these are the door pockets at back and it also gets a smartphone holder over here which is quite nice and seat seat belts are not height adjustable they are fixed one and it also gets airbags it gets total six airbags in it and the end cap rating hasn't come till now for safety but skoda is telling that of course they are very safe and it gets a ton of features in it for safety and over here are the twin ac vents and twin usb c sockets and this car only gets usb c it doesn't get in regular usb socket now and over here are the handle as well as a hook and same is the case over here handle as well as a hook and the headroom is a bit of a tight but it gets a scooped out treatment done over here to increase the headroom and the rear windshield is also barely visible from here because of these three big headrests which all three of them are height adjustable and overall the rear seat is quite comfortable it also gets seat belts for the each of every passengers mm, so let's get to the front seat of the car and the build quality and overall is just fab being a squad of course that you expect from it so let's get to the driver seat of the car and here's the request sensor it gets request sensor on both of the front doors and over here's the driver's door which gets control for windows this is for the outside rear view mirror and side lock of the windows and it gets a chrome finish around the front door handle and humongous door pads over here and the seat doesn't get electric adjust but it gets manual adjust for height front back and recline features and over here is the control for the headlight it gets automatic headlights and headlight leveler this is the engine start stop button regular skoda affair which is placing the button over here and over here this is the ac one looks quite nice the treatment done on it the gloss black some finishing over here and some chrome as well it's quite a nice look to the car so let's get inside the door shut with a proper third and let me turn on the car Here the car comes to life and this is the all new steering wheel of the skoda which is also offered in the octavia as well as the superb i guess and it's a only two spoke unit and over here gets some treatment on it which is a gloss black and a silver chrome and over here again it gets some gloss black some chrome and this knurled finishing dials over here feels very nice and very premium to use and this is a leather wrap steering wheel and quite nice to hold on to and this feels quite nice to hold on to and over here are the control for the headlamp as well as the cruise control system and same is the case over here this is our for the wipers it doesn't get automatic wipers yeah of course it gets automatic lights and this is the instrument cluster regular Skoda unit and then get 
center gets a multi information display which shows a ton of information like right now we are in driving data and show speed distance and travel and main range and we can select different option like audio telephone vehicle status driving data let's get into audio no device connected telephone so vehicle status this car is not driven so it won't show be any vehicle status and this is the driving information and over here are the controls to to set clock and other things and over here is to reset the trip and you can control the instrument cluster using this button and this is the dummy button over here and this is to you to browse through it this node finishing over here and just to get back and that's it for over here and it looks quite and nice and it's quite readable as well and over down over there it gets the telltale lights and the fuel meters over there and this is the all new screen from skoda and it's a very fantastic unit yeah it's a really fantastic unit like it also gets a connected car tech but right now it's not enabled in this car cause this car is not a registered unit and you can but there is a problem that you have to set the volume from here yeah it's a bit of a issue otherwise for the driver this rotary dial is over here and it gets wireless apple carplay and android auto which is excellent indeed also of course it gets bluetooth connectivity and you can go into radio and your apps you can also download apps on this and it also gets maps and everything it's quite a decent and, and very nicely loaded unit and you it also gets navigation like this so we have to update it like right now it's offline and over here is a button to turn off the traction control which is in the display only asr of traction control off and this car gets a slew of safety features like multi collision braking anti roll and a, of course abs traction control vehicle stability control so overall in terms of safety this car is extremely loaded and it gets six airbags as i told you and over here it gets a uh, gloss black and a finishing done over here and it says Skoda over here it looks quite nice and the dash also gets quite nice of a pattern on it but it's a uh, hard plastic but it feels quite well put together and over the quality, quality and the materials used are quite nice even having a hard touch plastic the material of the hard touch plastic is also quite nice and the AC vents are placed down over here oh I have turned on the air conditioning by mistake let me turn that off so over here the air conditioning vents are along with chrome and over here are the controls for the ventilated seats both the front seats get ventilation function they lock the car for the hazard light feature let me turn that off and over here the control for the air conditioning and these controls feel extremely nice to hold like from here by just pressing you can change the temperature and from here you can change the fan speed and turn that air conditioning off it also gets air care which is for the kind of a air purifier for the car and down over here it gets again twin usb-c ports with a wireless charging pad and a 12 volt charging socket over here and this is a six speed manual transmission let me show you the reverse gear and to put the reverse gear you have to press it down and push on the left side and this is the reverse parking camera the camera is quite good but it doesn't get adaptive guidelines as such so that's a bit of an issue and it also doesn't get front parking sensors if they would have provided it it would be quite nice and the gear lever gets some treatment done around it, which is a gloss black and over here is the proper key slot as i shown you the key the proper key slot over here with twin cup holders again some space and there is the manual handbrake and it also gets a center armrest over here with some storage space inside it not much but yeah it's adequate and these are the seats of the car and the seat looks just fab the color scheme used in the seats are very nice like this gray and the dark black some with some orange stitching which gives a quite contrast look to the seats and of course these are perforated at leather so ventilated seats are over there and it gets the auto dimming inside rear view mirror and over here it doesn't get many mirror over here but uh, yeah it gets a mirror over there and it looks like a sunglass holder but it's not and over here are the control for the lights of the car like this and this is the sun it also comes with the sunroof and it's not in the league of Creta but yeah it's quite a decent unit and this and it only opens this much so it's a bit on a smaller side but yeah it does the work brilliantly well 
and let me show you some more things like over here it gets a document holder line so you can put your documents over there and the oh, small small attention to detail done on this car are quite nice like this a uh, ticket receipt holder but now everything is on fast track so that uh not needed much nowadays and overall the quality and everything of the cabin is just fab indeed and this is how the horn sounds let me use the wiper and show them to you so this is how the wiper works the spray is just in plenty these are not dual blade wipers these are single blade wipers but they do the job brilliantly well indeed and let me show you some more features like it also shows the driving data over here and you can also download the skoda app and you can obviously check the location of the car what the speed the car has been driving and each and every data of the car so that's also quite nice as you can get different sensory fuel long term memory short term memory and everything of that sort and overall the car is quite nice although get some proper dead pedal down there and these are the pedals these are quite simple nothing special over there and overall the quality and everything of the cabin is quite nice let me show you the final looks so this is how the car looks from the side profile and it looks quite nice indeed and i guess this car can be a tough competitor to the creda and the seltos in the market because the car is not overpriced as such and the overall the cabin is quite nice yeah many people would prefer the creta cause they think that skoda is very expensive to maintain but nowadays skoda is not that expensive to maintain like i have known many customers who are having four to five skodas in their home and right now they are booking kashok also and they are quite happy with the service and all so guys this was shubhodi banerji today reviewing the skoda kashok but before that let me tell you the price of this car like the on road price of this car will be nearly 17 lakh rupees yeah actual price is 14 lakh 60000 so in on road drive for chatisgarh the price of this car will be 17 lakh rupees so guys if you should be banish today reviewing the skoda kashok don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and share the videos with your friends so let's see you guys in another video really soon till then bye bye and have a nice day